Bailey Beck's campsite on the very west of Ireland. And this long strip of land, 11 kilometres long, was St John's Point that we went to yesterday. Today we're going to travel further west and we're going to head towards Malinbeg. We've taken the little country road along and it is pretty, pretty good. Look at that windy road right over there with all these cliffs and little bays. <laughs> They're just brilliant. This is the little village of Krukara and it is so cute. Here we are at Malenbeg and it's absolutely fantastic. We're going to walk down some steps onto the beach. So from the car park up above there's about 60 steps to climb down, but really easy to a very protected beach. No wind down here at all. It's lovely. That's the waterfall. And if I pan right round, you can actually see right over there, there's a gap. Right through the rock. There's lots of these little clear jellyfish all along the beach. And that's one cave in there, and the other cave you can't see because it's just round the corner. There's a guy just walking along the beach. That just gives an idea of the perspective. It's absolutely huge. All right, beautiful creature. Uh, do you want to tell us what's going on, please? So, man and big, absolutely beautiful. Great cliffs, really protected the elements. You can probably not hear me. We can hear every word, my love. Yeah. The sun has just come out, which is brilliant, because it was absolutely lashing down a minute ago. But it's now lovely. Look at that. Blue sky. Woo! <laughs> oh, I nearly got caught with that one. That's a great view of the 60 steps we came down. Blue sky and sunshine. Brilliant! And just up there, that's the van at the top of the cliff. And there's the steps. Wow, the views from up here are just fantastic. Okay, I believe your things to say. Yes, we've decided to walk right along the cliff edge, although there is fencing, which is good and you get fabulous views down onto the beach. What's the name of this beach again, please? Uh, Malenbeg Beach. All right, okay. Do you like it? That office looks like an airfield tower. I'll tell you what that tower is. What is it, It was built in the 1700s when there was the threats of invasion by Bonaparte from France because actually in the 1700s they did land here or thereabouts so they built these towers but actually they became defunct in the late 1700s, early 1800s Okay, it's time we moved on now Back to the van and to our next destination. That cliff face up there I think is Malin Moor because we've just been to Malin Beg and that is absolutely impressive. Look at the view as we're driving along. It's just fantastic. Oh, really scary though. Really high. So 
here we are at the Glencomb Kiln Folk Village. We are in the Little Museum and I have to say it's really, really cute. And the school is called Skoil, Tichner Skoil, which actually is almost Welsh because that's Iskol in Welsh. So let's go and have a look at this 1881. So here was the 1880s iPad, as you can hear, it's quite tough, so it would be hard wearing, but there's no touch screen. And through in here, this must have been mummy and daddy's, oh, and kids as well. <laughs> now, these crosses are St Bridget's crosses, and they were made on the 31st of January every year. And they were supposedly there to protect the house from going on fire. This is Father McDyer's cottage. So I presume this is where he stayed. Oh, wow. Let's go in here first. Oh, obviously this is his wee dining room and sitting room area. Yeah. Father McDyer in the corner. Yeah, yeah yes. James first in the and that's the no weaving the machine. And this is the fisherman's cottage. It's really, really small. Oh, Essentially, it's one room. That's a few words on heads. One wee room. Somewhere in dry socks. Thick woolly socks. An iron bed. A placard so he remembers his notes. And look, the fishing nets above our heads. And this one is the bar, the pub and the grocer. There we are, there's the little village. Right, this here is the sweat house. I kid you not, they used to put people in here when they were ill. It's tiny and it's manky. They thought that they would sweat and that would cure them of all sorts of illnesses. Is that not as cute as anything? A little bit like the black houses, but we don't do our roofs quite like that. Well, that was worth the visit. It was really good. So this morning we left Kelly Beggs just here and we've come right along this route but obviously we took a wee coastal trip down here and then we travelled along here and right round here to Mangum Beg and we're just up here now at Glen Colum Kill and we're going to travel on this road right up here and up here. This is the Glen Gish Pass. This is Cranach Boy. We've got hills over there, beautiful white sand. So, this is the little town of Andara. It's actually quite nice. This is Ross Beg, and look at this little inlet. This is such a pretty place. All these individual little sandy beaches and rocks in between. Just love it. That little rock there with the grassy bit. You can normally just walk across there but the tide is coming in. So that'll be a wee island. So we've come from right over there, wiggling and waggling all around all these little coves and then over this great stile. And we're going to continue up here. Long enough walk. We're going to head back to the van and then try and find a campsite for tonight. So that island out there is called Inishkil Island and there's a 16th century monastery used to be on there. And down in the water, which you can't see at the moment, leading from the sand, there is a causeway at low tide, 500 metres long. And look at that beach, is it not fabulous? This is 
Dark Campsite for tonight and it's absolutely beautiful.